Hello, today's topic will include creating roofs by extrusion and creating roofs by face. Creating a roof by extrusion requires us to go to either an elevational view or a sectional view. And before going to one of these elevations, I would like to introduce the four main directions uh, of any project, which are obviously south, north, west, east. So this is my south elevation or wall, north, east, and this is my west wall or elevation. I need to go to uh, an elevation view. For example, I would choose to go to the south elevation. So from the project browser, I will go to the view, south elevation. Now I would be able to create a roof by extrusion. Now for example, if I want to create a barrel roof, so I go architecture, roof, roof by extrusion. Now Revit would ask me, specify your work plane by specifying the name or picking the plane or pick a line. So I would choose pick a plane, which would be my south wall. So yes, pick a plane. Okay, this is my work plane, which is the south wall. Again, Revit would ask me which level I want to create my roof at. So is it level seven? No, I want it to be at level first. And then, okay, I'm going to sketch the profile of, of my extruded roof, which by logic should be an arc. Finish edit mode. If I go to my 3D view, I will find that I have created this barrel roof by extrusion and the profile was an arc. By the way, I can change the extrusion start from properties by adding, for example, a value of 2 meters. Apply. Notice that the barrel got extended that way. Also, from this grip arrow, I can change that extrusion start. Also, if I want to attach that wall to my barrel roof, I go attach base, choose my roof my wall got attached to my barrel roof. Moving to creating roofs by face. We use that tool to create a roof from a mass face. This means to create roofs on non-vertical or awkward faces of a mass. But what is a mass? Massing in Revit is a major topic that we are going to get to know about it later on. However, for the purpose of our current demonstration, a mass has been created previously and to facilitate our understanding of creating roofs by face. So I open a view that displays the mass, which is a 3D view. Select my mass, go architecture, roof, drop down menu, roof by face. I highlight this weird or awkward face, then go to create roof now I managed to create a weird shape of a roof as shown please note the following note 1 to apply a sloped glazing select the roof go to the properties type selector choose sloped glazing duplicate from edit time rename it now we have our own slope glazing roof type, example one, and we can change its properties and its parameters. So if we go to the first parameter, which is grid one, I would choose, for example, the maximum spacing parameter. Grid two, the same, maximum spacing. For the grid one millions, which profile I might use? Okay, maybe this square rectangle, rectangular millions. For grid two millions, I would also choose the rectangular millions square. 
and then ok this is my sloped glazing roof and I have changed its parameter based on my requirements note 2 rain store management for flat roofs I would create a flat roof at the first floor so I will go to my ground floor level and I make sure that if I go to roof from architecture the base level of my roof should be first floor apply I would set the offset for example 0.5 Finish edit mode. If I go to my first floor level, this is my roof. I need, if I want it to be a flat roof, to uh, uncheck the defined slope. This is my flat roof. When I select that flat roof, I can go to modify sub element and then add a point for example here change its elevation for example to be minus point one if I go to my 3d view it shows that there is like a slight slope into my flat roof to restore my flat roof fully select the roof, go and reset shape finally note 3 another unit to define the slope of our roofs to do that we go manage tab and then project unit in the slope, we will find that percentage is used. If we select our roof, go to the properties, we will find the slope is 75% for example. If I would like to change the unit to another one, we select, go manage, again. In the slope, select, for example, I might change it to decimal degrees go to the properties again select our roof we will find that the degrees are 36.87 degrees instead of 75 percent the final unit we might use is the ratio so again go manage slope I might use rise 1000 millimeter so for every one meter how much I go up okay select my roof go again to the property slope so for every one meter I will go up 75 centimeter by this we come to the end of our topic today please like this video if you find it helpful